And we are officially finally back. Everybody with Dark Souls, the ultimate hunter's guide. God, I cannot get my face cam right. Uh, it's one of the things about, you know, like taking a break like this. I had to move my face cam because of uh, like recording on PC. I need to turn down my TV. So I had to move my uh, thing because I'm recording January and this light that's on this webcam holder is my primary light. As well as um, when I record on PC. And it's just a mess. I could barely find, oh shit, where it used to be. As in like the positioning. So things might be a little bit out of whack uh, for this episode, but you know, we'll find our footing later. It's just, you know, you probably can tell that it's been a small while since I've recorded. Uh, primary reason being over the, like, the Christmas period. I just didn't, oh yeah, there they are. I just didn't have that much time. I mean, I had time, but I wanted to relax a bit. Make some other videos, make music, prepare for January, which if you don't know what that is, follow my Instagram, it's in the description to see. Um, but yeah, now it's good to be back on track. Like I said in my fucking hell, in my little like Christmas, this is a Dodge Master. I've never seen one of these things be this good at dodging. So I was gonna say, um, as I said in my little like Christmas slash New Year's channel review update thing, uh, primary goal here uh, in the next upcoming few days is to finish this playthrough. It's not that I'm bored of it or anything like that, it's just we've been going at this for quite a while. So, you know, the time has come to bring this to an end. We don't have a lot to go. It's basically just the rest of the DLC and uh, the end game here. And you know, the DLC when I'm a range master like this shouldn't be too difficult. Calamite might be well, even Calamite might not be too much of a challenge. I mean, Artorias was difficult purely based on the fact that he is like very resistant to elemental weapons. And I think that's going to be the complication for uh, Manus and Calamite as well. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. And we also need to pick up our last piece of... Hunter gear, which is coming from Goff, which is his great bow and his unique great arrows. So that's again, that's like really the plan for the upcoming couple of days. Not that I'm not gonna focus on Tales of Drang Lake as well, because I am. It's just this game is getting some love. I completely forgot there's an enemy there. Interestingly, well, not even interestingly, um, just in general, uh, I do have my next playthrough picked out. I don't know why I said interestingly. Oh, did I just shoot down Dark Fog by accident or something? I mean, it's possible, it's just very unlikely. It, it hangs on by a chain. But whatever. So yeah, I do have my next playthrough sort of decided, I think. Uh, not 100%. But I'm pretty confident. And I ain't like... Gonna be very secretive, but it's probably gonna be Bloodborne. A challenge run for Bloodborne. Shit, that's one level. That is one level and that's it. Well, we might as well go for Endurance, get that up to 30 as well, eventually. And let's go ahead and visit Goth as well. Because we can't get his shit now unless you kill him, but... 
killing him first of all it locks you out of calum which i shouldn't say that it doesn't lock you out of calamite because the souls community being the souls community of course people have figured out like some very very efficient ways of uh killing calamite without getting goff to do his thing but i am not i am not uh that type of souls gamer uh so you know it's not how it's gonna be happening sorry i'm skipping his dialogue but this is he does sell the great arrows uh let's buy five of these it's I think it does more damage than the standard one. Uh, it can be used with the Dragon Slayer Great Bow, but I don't know, man. I've never been a big fan of the Great Arrow weapon class, honestly. Cool. Let's get back because I'm gonna do the mana stuff for. I think actually it doesn't really matter. We can do either. Either or, but let's just unlock the uh, abyss area. So this is normally a fairly annoying area in the game, but because we have like mega range, holy shit. How is that a... Oh, that's, that was not a one shot. Why did I think? I swear it looked like I one shot at him, but it must, must have been because it was a headshot. So yeah, again, uh, this is normally a very, very, very annoying area. Uh, this encounter is actually fairly challenging. But not with these weapons. If there's anything this playthrough has taught me, and I mean genuinely here, uh, is that I'm going to be incorporating a bow into more of my playthroughs. Like Elden Ring, for example, when it comes up, I'm thinking of, for my first playthrough, I'm definitely thinking of doing like a see as much as possible type deal. So some main weapon, bow and arrow, some form of magic. I'm assuming, hopefully they add some like crazy magic classes, but sorcery and miracles are definitely in. So, I'm gonna try to go for some, you know, like I said, some hybrid that we can see as much as possible. And then we'll see. Obviously, as I've said, uh, once again in the channel review for 2021, which you should really watch, I'll leave like a pop-up banner. Am I gonna get killed? I am. I'm not careful. Uh, I do see Elden Ring as a pretty good growth opportunity for the channel, so expect like ultimate guides and all that. I am really hoping, I'm really, really hoping that they don't pull a Dark Souls 3 with how magic works. If you don't remember, uh, one of my least favorite aspects of Dark Souls 3. Uh, and the reason why the ultimate guys for Dark Souls 3 never really went anywhere is because a shit ton of spells are locked behind Covenant Rewards where the item is pretty much only farmable through actually being online. What I mean by that is those items like the ears and the the vertebrae and shit in Dark Souls 3, they have like a 0.01% drop rate. Uh, and you need like 30 of them to get the level 3 covenant rewards. So the game pretty much forces you to play PvP, which is not, you know, my favorite thing. Uh, fuck, which one is it? Township, right? Yeah. Which is not my favorite thing because what happens if you're like me, who doesn't enjoy PvP and Dark Souls 3 and finds it to be a slog you just kind of shit out of luck uh, you either have to like farm for like four or five hours to get an item or you struggle through online and that's a little bit bullshit in my opinion at least in this game uh, where spells are logged behind Covenant items the 
items themselves are fairly easy to get, you know. Like at least fairly easy to farm for. Why am I yawning? Probably because it's dark as fuck outside. Uh, it's like it's 2.25 when I'm recording this and it's like really grayish and dark outside. Anyways, let's get down to Calamite and do that portion just quickly. Last doggo group uh, for this playthrough that we have to get through. Thank fuck for the wolf ring, honestly. Wolf ring is such a lifesaver. Sometimes. All the time. It's pretty much a must. I think here you can hit him, right? Well, if the <laughs> I need to be a little bit of a better shot than that. Uh, Miss Coozy, Miss Coozy. So yeah, the the way to kill this thing without doing the golf thing is absolutely batshit insane. I saw a video on it on YouTube, which I, I I'll post on Discord. Uh, this shit is this shit is wild. Like the thing is, people figured out that there are certain dead zones for his attack. And with that, you can run to the end of the arena where he flies in from, and there is also a dead zone there. Why do I have the fucking skull lantern? Oh, because of the talisman, the silver talisman. And yeah, basically people figured out that if you stand in these dead zones, you can like hit him twice. So once on the way he flies in and once when he flies out, and you just keep looping that for I don't know how long. Till he dies. Uh, it's used in the all bosses speed run because even if that sounds tedious as shit and it's very hard to do, it's still quicker than actually going through the entirety of Ulusil uh, to get the key and doing the whole thing and like running back and forth. Crazy man, speed running is so insane. I hella respect speedrunners, I just gotta say that always. Cool. I'm gonna beat Calamite for sure. Don't worry, Goff. We, we got this. He's so cool. Cool. I'm only after your great bow. That's the only reason I'm killing Calamite. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult, I think. Calamite, I mean. He's gonna take long as fuck, time-wise. But it's okay. We have time, if nothing else. Blasted. How convenient is it that he falls right into the same arena? Goff really is a master of things. Cool, Goff. Nice to meet you. You're chill. Let's get back to Calamite here. Okay, let's go. And I think... If I have one, do I not have one? Shit, I don't have one. I was going to say, I'm going to pop a Divine Blessing, because people always say I don't use them. But now would have been a perfect time not to waste my 10 Estus. Not that I don't have enough Humanities to get shit up to, like, plus uh, 3 or 4 or whatever the bonfire. Kindle it. It's just, you know. I do wonder. 
And that is a big boy at least. That actually does a fair bit of damage. I can almost bet that does more damage than this. Holy shit. Yeah, that's... I think we're gonna need to like go for a combined approach. Okay, thank fuck for you doing that attack. Yeah, this boy... This boy, he has a very high resistance to fire. I mean, I think that should be obvious to most people. He's a fucking dragon. God, this thing is so slow. And this is why sometimes I think I should have gone for the composite bow. The composite bow is way better for uh, situations like this. Fuck, I dodged into it. Oh, that is a mistake. Ah. I misjudged it. Sucks. That sucks. He's not gonna be easy. He's not going to be easy because, as you see, he is extremely, extremely resistant to uh, my attacks. And Manus will be too. Uh... I don't know. We don't need to turn back into human form. This is why the DLC sucks in the the aspect that in the aspect that your elemental weapons essentially become useless. See, I'm just thinking. I am wondering. I've never really used this weapon. It's also a falchion. It's pretty powerful, and I do I do think I have enough twinkling to get it upgraded. You know what? I think it might be worth having a backup. Actually, how many? Yeah, I don't have enough to upgrade the composite bow, but maybe, just maybe, this might work. All right, let's do this. I really hope I have enough. Uh, my calculation is correct. This should be just right. Hell yeah. All right. Come on, Calamite. Let's hear how you do against this. If I can actually find my homeward bones. All right, let's get back to him. Okay. I'm really hoping this journey was worth it. I mean, it didn't take that long, but just like conceptually, hopefully it's gonna pay off. He takes more damage from headshots, right? I wouldn't say, oh, I don't see why he wouldn't. Hell yeah. Now we're cooking, boys. Now we're cooking. Terrible idea. Why did I do that? Okay, I just have a sneaking suspicion that the bow is a bit of a no-go weapon. In the sense that uh, he's pretty darn fast. I can sneak some shots in like this, but... This thing is so good, this weapon. Interestingly, it costs more stamina to use than Quailags. Which is weird because this thing is so tiny compared to Quailags. It's like a giant anime sword. Oh shit. I got into trouble in the previous attempt.
Yes, please do that. God, this weapon is awesome. Oh, you can bleed him? Seriously? I didn't know that. Whoops. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, yeah, I've... As I've said, I've not really used the gold tracer before. Come on, you know I gotta finish this off. Hell yeah. I'd be disappointed in myself if I didn't do it via the bow. Not sure that same is gonna happen for Manus. Uh, that is a little bit too risky even for my liking. Cool, that second attempt went a lot better and just proves my point about the DLC and all that. And Elemental Web, I don't know, this I've always felt and all the Souls games do it. Maybe except for Dark Souls 2, but 3 definitely does. Where some shit just becomes essentially unviable in the DLC. It's really kind of annoying uh, because if you're playing a sorcerer build with an elemental weapon, why should you struggle so much more in the DLC uh, compared to just like a straight up melee build? I never understood. But hey, whatever. Uh, we got what we came... Actually, we didn't just yet get what, we're, what we came here for. I can't even speak anymore. We're about to get what we came here for. In just a second, as we go up to Goff. Alright. I think this is how you get him to give his shit to you, right? Now I'm a little bit doubtful. Yeah. Shant is such a cool word, word, but only if you say it in an English accent. As if you'd be able to use that thing. Cool. Goff is the best. He's the homie. So we just got Goff's great bow. Uh, shit, it's 27. Uh, fuck. I thought it was 25, but this is 25. Okay, well, god damn it. Uh, I should be okay, though. Okay, we're almost there. Just need a tiny, tiny push. See, people who always shit on me for never immediately using my souls. What would I do now? I'd be in hella trouble. Actually, I wouldn't be, but, you know. So this is Golf's great bow. Uh, <laughs> the, the animation is a little bit strange, to say the least. But, it's pretty dang strong. As we will demonstrate. Fuck, as we will demonstrate in just a bit. Once we get to an appropriate sniping position. So as you can see, even unupgraded, this thing does 276 damage. And the real advantage of it is how far it knocks back, which is an absolutely ridiculous amount of range. Uh, and really, like I said, with the Dragon Slayer Great Bow, the same holds true that these are excellent, truly tasty trolling weapons. Because, uh, you know, people know the sniping spots where people have to pass by and you can really, like, give them shit. Um, and I think that's really the true calling of Great Bows. In, in like actual combat, they can they can do well. I mean, outside of like bosses and some, they're absolutely unusable in uh, a boss encounter. So don't even think about that. But again, like this, very good. 
Cool, so what I think we're gonna do here is progress a little bit more into the chasm here. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade this fully, or kindle this fully. Just feels appropriate. This is the Manus bonfire, although like I said, now that I have the gold tracer, I am feeling way more confident, honestly. After the Artorias battle, I was like, fuck, this is not gonna work, is it? With the... Whatchamacallit? The Quailax sword. As much as I like the, the Quailax sword. Mm, fuck it. Always gets away from you, doesn't it? That is... That damage is... Nutty. This is one of the strongest weapons in the game, honestly. I think in this weapon category, only the... Uh, the, f the standard falchion with the crystal magic weapon or dark moon blade enhancement or like buff. Only those weapons uh, deal more damage. But those weapons are, you know, but that's with a buff. In terms of like standard in-game weapon, without anything, this is the strongest. Oh shit, four. Fuck. I was just about to say, I hope none of them come after me. And then like clockwork. just funny because these things like they do not have an animation for that and they just look kind of goofy and these things look goofy in general uh, but when they're falling they just disappear over the edge excellent Ooh, hey there Sif who I'm probably not going to summon good job doggo so we're 33 minutes, but we have a lot to cut out. No, you know what? I think we do have time for Manus. I'm not sure if Manus is gonna go down in one go. It depends. Sometimes he do, sometimes he don't. <laughs> oh man. I do like being overpowered, I am not gonna lie. Sometimes you just gotta go for an OP weapon, OP build. I mean, this build isn't even that OP. It's just standard decks with bows. Now I'm hella not gonna be able to get any arrows off against this guy, that's for sure. I'm kind of like giving up on that at this point. It just moves too quickly. That's the stupid spells. He's cool looking though. Imagine if fucking High Lord Volnir came out of the shadows. I'd take that actually. The Volnir is a bitch. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be easy. Oh, maybe that's gonna be the... I am gonna summon Sif. I'm overconfident now. Now that he takes that much damage. Holy fuck. This weapon is insane. See if Diana actually like do something.
There's no way you can bleed this guy, right? He's gonna go for it now. Yep. Twice in a row. Motherfucker. I don't know how that hit me. God, the damage is just insane. He's really going for that. He knows that's the one that always gets me. Fuck off. Okay, I got the the weird hit. So if you're really, you're actually like not doing jack shit. Am I gonna be stupid? I'm gonna be stupid. I got him. That was insanely easy. That was like one of the easiest manus fights I've ever had. Not even gonna lie. Thanks if you didn't really do jack shit. I'm gonna be honest with you here. Uh, yeah. That was an underwhelming performance, to say the least. Okay, where is she at? What up, Dusk? Peace out, we rescued you. You're welcome. Uh, you know what? Let's go back to the sanctuary. I want some Elizabeth mushrooms. I think we get one for free as well, don't we? But anyways, yeah, that was insanely easy. And I think... With that, I am going to start wrapping up this episode here. Uh, yeah, we get three of them. And can't we purchase more? Maybe later. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode of the Ultimate Hunter's Guide, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time for like 99% the finale. As in, like, I'm 99% sure it's going to be the last episode. Take care, everyone, and peace out. Goodbye.